Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cindy and I am back with a brand new video and happy May 4th and may the 4th be with you. Um, this video is pretty much dedicated to May the 4th and of course for, what's the other one? Revenge of the 5th. <laughs> um, yeah, just wanted to be weird and I wanted to make a video this week because I actually had a day off and I had a lot to do so therefore this is happening. So I decided to do something Star Wars related and I've been honestly, I've been wanting to draw BB-8 for some time now and I think today was the day that I drew, that I would sit down and draw BB-8. Um, I did a little bit of a different setup this time. I brought out my easel because the other day I did a painting. So I brought out my easel and I taped some paper down onto it and therefore I just started drawing that way and then my camera set up right over my left shoulder so paper I am using is Bristol paper um, I cut it down to six by nine and yeah that's that's how I started and then honestly I've never drawn anything mechanical before I'm not a mechanical person mechanical person I'm more of like an organic drawer I like drawing you know animals and I like drawing like plant life and you know things with organic shapes to them like I'm not very into drawing like circles and squares um it's just not something that i enjoy drawing but honestly this is this is something i really enjoyed i like i really much enjoyed looking at all the little shapes that he has and whatnot and trying to figure out what goes where it was very a little bit stressful but honestly it paid off in the end um i really love the way it came out so yeah and to be completely honest i have not yet watched the new Star Wars movie that's been out for like what two three months now but I have to admit that in my 23 years of life I first watched the first six episodes of Star Wars like last month to be completely honest with you guys I have I had not watched Star Wars till last month which was okay I mean I really liked them like they were really awesome and if you have to know my favorite character is Anakin if you must must know <laughs> um yeah, and then I heard that this new movie is coming out. Well, that makes no sense. Hold on. I, when I found out that the new movie was coming out, I had to watch the old movies. And then I started seeing pictures of BB-8. And I fell in love with BB-8 without even knowing him. So I wanted to draw BB-8. So that's BB-8. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I'm using Microns and I'm using Copic, Copic markers. And that's pretty much all I'm using for this. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but I've been using Premiere Pro to edit my first la uh, this video and then my last video. And I think this is going to be the last time I use it just because I was on the trial run. So I can't afford it yet, but I honestly did like using it. It was m It's much better than using Microsoft um, Movie Maker. But I'm gonna have to go back to it because I'm gonna lose this, the the trial within I think three days, so I'm kind of sad about that. But it is what it is. Um, hopefully in the future I have enough money to actually pay for Premiere Pro because I really liked Premiere Pro. I like all the features and it, it you know it's much more in depth than Movie Maker is. Um, but yeah, back to my piece. So yeah, I was I mean I was having a ball with this thing. I was just trying to figure out where everything was and. Uh, there was even a part where I think, I think it was my fault, but it seemed like at the head, like where I'm coloring right now, my marker started bleeding a little bit, but I think it was because I was like laying the marker flat. And I think it's because of the new position my hands are. Um, my professor for in my art, we in art class for this semester, wants us to draw on easels. And I was like, you know what, let me try drawing on an easel this time around. So it was my first time like actually using the Copics on an easel. So I needed a little bit more practice to get my hand the right, you know, pressure and whatnot so I think that's kind of that was kind of like the challenge in this in this time around and honestly I think I'm gonna keep going because of how I positioned my camera this time I think I like the layout much more than I do when the paper is like laying flat on a desk so I think I'm gonna continue recording this way I think I like this much more you know I've been playing around with like different ways of recording and I think this is one that I quite enjoy so I think I'm gonna keep it 
and let me know if you guys like this setup um you probably see like weird stuff in the background like i can see that i didn't cover family pictures very well but yep that's me over there with my little brother <laughs> um but yeah and then you can see like all the trash and stuff my, my desk is a mess it's a very small desk it's like a uh i think it's like a 90s kind of desk kind of thing it, not 90s but we got in the early 2000s when we first got like our ooh, very first gateway computer like the really big dinosaur computers so it's, it's one of those kind of desks but it work it does its job and i like my little desk and i recently got a new chair like i literally you know college life you kind of dumpster dive for stuff but this one was set out on the curb so i was like hey it's in good condition i'm bringing it in so that's how i got my desk chair um, but here's BB-8 coming into all his glory. All the colors are in. I think he looks great. Um, there are a, there are a few mistakes in him. Like I, my hand slipped with the um, with the micron. But mm, what can you do? So otherwise, he looks great, and you can hardly tell the mistakes are there. Uh, like I forgot about the mistakes. Um, and yeah. So I wanted to take a break here and say if you guys are enjoying this video so far want why not take the moment and hit that subscribe button it really helps me out um, and let me know what you guys think about this drawing have you guys drawn BB-8 before I would really like to see them um, honestly like I really like um, Valerie from art all the carts BB BB-8 drawing I just rewatched it right now just to see just to like remember what it looked like and she does a very nice job with it hers is much bigger than mine I think mine's a little bit more thinner if we shall say but yeah i hope you guys really like this video and like i said before if you like it and you want to keep up and updated with like new videos that i make here on in the future please hit that subscribe button and you can also find me on social media my description my my social media links are down in the description below and yeah that's about that's i think that's all i really want to say and then here i'm just going with my brush pen going around because I didn't like how thin his body was. I, I don't know, I like the whole thickness of it. So I just went around with my Micron uh, brush pen and I love the way it turned out. And then I, here I made another boo-boo and I did a little bit of a, kind of like a feathering by accident. So I went around and did a few random feathers. That way it looked like it was meant to be there. Like if I did it on purpose. But yeah. Yeah, that's BB-8. And yeah, and here I almost messed up my own signature. You'll see me fix it. Let's see, <laughs> and that's that. And then here I put me the fourth, 2016, because that's today. All right, and here's the full rundown of what BB-8 looks like. Oh, I see more mistakes, but honestly, he looks much better, far, far away. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have have had a nice May 4th, and I'll see you all later. Bye.